Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on bagels because it's actually National Bagel Day. And I got my bagels from Goldstein's, which is in Arcadia on Santa Anita. And I got bagels that I've never tried before. Usually I eat like a plain bagel or a sesame bagel. You know, I just wanted to try something different. And so I actually went inside and looked at all of their choices and picked, I, I believe it's a baker's dozen, so 13 bagels. And I'm going to be cutting them up and then trying them like that. I'm not gonna be toasting them or anything. And not only did I get bagels, I also got um, a couple different kinds of cream cheese. And I think I even got like a, a butter. So I will tell you which, which bagel's which, which cream cheese is which. And then I will also have Goldstein's info down below. I don't know if they're having any special deals on National Bagel Day, which is the day this video is being posted. And I forgot to ask. So if you do decide to go there, just ask, I guess. I'm really excited for this video because I love bagels. I'm gonna move my camera over to the table and try the bagels over there okay so all the bagels are right here and all of the cream cheeses are in these little tubs this one is just plain the classic cream cheese this one is the strawberry cream cheese it kind of smells like strawberries Garden veggie cream cheese. Mm, this one smells like veggies. Homemade honey butter. This is what it looks like on the inside. The honey butter smells like sweet butter. So yeah, the strawberry, the garden veggie, and the homemade honey butter are all cream cheeses I haven't tried. So I think I already said this, but I only get um, plain or sesame bagel from Goldstein's and I've been going there for like pretty much my whole life I think and they've been around for about 25 years so yeah it's not a new bagel place and it's also next to an In-N-Out on Santa Anita this one oh yeah it's really like it smells really potent and then when you break it apart. So I'm gonna try it just by itself first. Oh, I do not like this one. I'm gonna try it with the garden veggie cream cheese. Garden veggie made it taste so much better. I'm gonna try the um, this bagel with the strawberry one. Just to see what it tastes like. I think it's gonna be gross. <laughs> I don't know, that one is okay to me. It just tasted, made it taste sweet. And then there's the homemade honey butter. I don't like that one with the honey butter. But I liked the garden veggie one the best with it. You can see the salt on the bagel. So I'm gonna try the strawberry one first with this bagel. This one's good. It kind of tastes like um, just like a regular bagel, honestly. It doesn't taste like extra salty to me. It tasted good on it, it just made it sweeter. Now I'm gonna try the garden veggie made it taste like kind of like a meal made it taste good then i'm gonna try homemade honey butter with it i didn't like the honey butter with this bagel i was trying to chew it all because that was a big piece i put into my mouth um and when i was eating this piece i could taste how salty the bagel actually was so i guess the bottom parts of the donut or the, <laughs> the bottom parts of the bagel are um, 
it's where the salt is so you can see how like this area has more salt than like over here so I just like barely got the salt and it actually it it tasted really good with the bagel and I liked it with the garden veggie one I think salt and like the sweetness of the strawberry and the homemade honey butter was just not a good combination with that regular classic cream cheese I still like the garden veggie with this one this is the chocolate chip bagel <laughs> and oh yeah it smells like chocolate it smells good that's like dessert <laughs> here's what it looks like on the bottom all right so i'm gonna try the strawberry with it that one tastes good with it wow it's like there's not even like i don't see any chocolate in here so it's like but it tastes like really chocolatey all right i'm gonna try the honey butter next because honestly it's like i'm not really a big fan of the honey butter i don't know that one wasn't too bad with the honey butter and i'm gonna try the garden veggie <laughs> with this chocolate bagel <laughs> it's probably gonna be nasty <laughs> It's nasty. <laughs> oh, bad combination. And right, I'm gonna go ahead and try it with the plain. I think the classic tasted fine with the chocolate bagel. But the strawberry one was like really good with it. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna put the honey butter on this one first since it's not one of my favorites. I think this one tasted the best with the honey butter oh, wow. so far. It's like a peanut aftertaste. I'm gonna try the garden veggie next with it. That one was interesting with it because it, it kind of made it taste like lunch. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it wasn't weird eating this peanut butter chocolate flavor with some veggies it actually was okay the strawberry one that just really made it taste like a pb and j and then i'm gonna try the plain one because i haven't tried the plain one yet with it it didn't taste bad either with the classic but i think i'd stick with the honey butter the strawberry for this one this one, oh, it's crumbling. This is the rye bagel. <laughs> yeah, this smells like rye. Okay, this is the classic. Oh, I do not like that. I don't like that flavor in the bagel at all. I'm gonna try the garden veggie. I did next. That definitely made it taste better. I'm not, I'm scared to try this with the strawberry and the honey butter. So, honey butter, oh that's nasty. That was really gross. And strawberry. No, definitely the garden veggie for this one. All right, the next bagel, ba bagel. the next bagel <laughs> is this one and it is a Cranberry bagel. I'm gonna try the classic again first. I think that tastes good with it. You can see a clump of cranberry in the bagel. It's pretty big. The homemade honey butter. I didn't like the honey butter with it. The garden veggie with it. And the garden veggie one is like probably what Rachel's trifle look like <laughs> or tasted like I don't think that was it's it'll probably be good to somebody it wasn't that good to me but so maybe it was nasty like Rachel's trifle <laughs> strawberry that one tastes good with it it tastes like 
the perfect amount of sweet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the strawberry out of the way because <laughs> that's not gonna taste good with it. <laughs> Especially if it has like all this interesting flavors like garlic and onion. Want to end with something good, you know? Strawberry. That was definitely nasty. I'm gonna do the honey butter next. I have a feeling the garden veggie is gonna be good with it. It's garden veggie. With these ones that taste like food, uh, makes makes the bagel good. I feel like the honey butter wasn't too bad with it, but I don't know if that would be my go-to choice to eat this bagel with. I'm gonna try plain, classic. I honestly couldn't even taste the classic <laughs> when I was eating that. So, if you wanna get classic with it, I guess you can, but you're not gonna taste it. Now I'm gonna try the garden veggie. That tastes good. It smells like cinnamon oatmeal. So this is the next bagel. And you can see all the oats on it. This is what it looks like on the inside. Garden veggie. That was nasty. I did not like those two flavors together. Honey butter. This tastes like raisin bread. I like the honey butter with it. I'm gonna try the strawberry and then the plain next. I don't think the strawberry tasted too good with it. I think it was too sweet. And then here's the plain. I like that one with it. I like the honey butter in the classic. This one is the Saggio cheese bagel. And you can see that the cheese is melted on already. Oh, it smells really cheesy. And my cheese actually kind of came off right now when I cut it, so. I'm going to try the honey butter with it because I don't think that's going to taste good. <laughs> that didn't taste good. And I, I don't think the strawberry is going to taste good either. But you never know because people eat cheese and fruit together all the time. I don't think it tasted bad with the strawberry, but it wouldn't be mine choice to pick strawberry with the Saggio bagel because it's just kind of strange. I'm gonna try the classic next. I think that one tasted good. I'm gonna try the garden veggie next. The garden veggie didn't taste bad with it, but I think the classic tastes the best with this one. Okay, I'm, I'm not sure which bagel this one is, but I'm just gonna eat it by itself. I know I'm already lit torn it apart. It looks like on the inside. It looks like it has raisins inside. It tastes like raisins and cinnamon, but it's definitely not this bagel that I've already tried, which actually tasted like raisin bread too. I'm a little confused. I don't even know which one this was. Right, I'm gonna try the garden veggie with it first. Yeah, I didn't like that with it. This is the honey butter. I didn't like that with it either. <laughs> I'm gonna try strawberry. I think that one tastes good with it. And then this is the classic. Yeah, this one tastes good with it. I'm getting full. <laughs> There's a lot. We have three more to go. And the next one is the poppy seed bagel. I think I've had poppy seed before. I'm gonna try the strawberry with it first. I don't really like that flavor mixture together. 
It tastes like like it's trying to be nutty and it's sweet, like a PB and J, but it's just it doesn't work or something. Here's the honey butter. I think the honey butter is too like sweet and powerful for this one. I'm gonna try the garden veggie with this one. Oh no, I don't like that. This is the classic. That one is good with it. The classic tastes the best with the poppy seed. This one's a cool color. I don't think I've ever seen a bagel that's this color. It is a sun-dried tomato bagel. Mmm, this one smells so good. It smells like tomatoes. And it like, it makes me want pasta. I am going to try this honey butter with it because I already know that this is going to taste really weird with it. Like, tomato and honey butter, it just sounds weird. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's not where it's at. Let's get this strawberry one out the way too. I don't like that. The classic flavor because maybe that'll taste good with it, maybe not. I like it, it tastes good with it. And then I'm gonna try the garden veggie, which I think is gonna taste good with it as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed with the sun-dried tomato bagel. I feel like this would make a sandwich taste good. Like if you go to Goldstein's, they do ask you what kind of bagel you want in for your sandwich. So maybe try this one. Let me know how it tastes. The last bagel is a blueberry bagel. Mm, it smells good. There's the inside of it. Last bagel. I am going to try the garden veggie. That tastes weird. Not good at all. The honey butter. That actually tastes okay. The classic. I think that tastes okay too. Actually, now that I'm finishing the classic, it kind of tastes like medicine. And last, I'm going to try the strawberry. <laughs> it kind of tastes like a go-gurt. <laughs> or like, like yogurt, period. It tastes like yogurt. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. We still have all of these bagels and a whole bunch of cream cheese and honey butter left like we barely even put a dent in this stuff yeah so let me know which combination you liked or that you think would taste good to you in the comments or let me know if you're even gonna like try and go to go go to goldstein's at some point you don't have to go just because it's national bagel day when i post this video yeah i hope you enjoyed watching me <laughs> eat once again <laughs> in another video and try some bagels that I haven't tried before. I think my favorite one, there's so many. Okay, I, I like the sun-dried tomato one the best with the garden veggie cream cheese. That tasted like a meal. And then I also liked, for like one of the sweet ones, I think I liked the chocolate bagel. So not the chocolate chip one, the one that actually is chocolate. And I liked it with the strawberry cream cheese. But I also, I was impressed with the salt bagel because I thought it was gonna be really, really salty and it wasn't. It was just like, maybe like a little punch of salt once it like hit your mouth. And I can't remember which cream cheese I liked with it the best. I think, I think it was the plain I liked with, no, I think it was the garden veggie I liked with it the best and yeah so usually i get classic and now i think i will probably be getting some garden veggie <laughs> cream cheese when i go to gold scenes and yeah so
so that's it for this vlog um hope to see you in the next one um see you next time Thank you.